Hi, I'm Leanne King and I want to welcome you once again to the AeroboShare Club. And it is June 2014 and I am here in my daughter's fun kitchen to help you make some of those great recipes that we give you each and every month with your AeroboShare Club order. So right now we are going to make the Sunburn Relief Option 2, which is a spray. So I have my little handy dandy mister bottle here and I have a funnel so that I don't spill any of our plant derived minerals because we don't want to do that. These are like gold. We love these in our house. We drink it. We, my husband just pours it out in a cap and just guzzles it down. He loves this. He craves it. This is so good. It's healing for the inside of your body and the outside. So we're going to put this in our sunburn spray. And I'm going to get really technical here. And this is a four ounce bottle. So I'm just going to do halfway and I can see the see it through the bottle and I've got right around two ounces in there. This is like the secret magic ingredient to this recipe is these plant dried minerals. They just like, your skin just like, it's like doing the happy dance when it has these in it, okay? Then we're going to put in two ounces. Uh, this is purified water. You can use distilled water. And just so you know, on these bottles and on your essential oil bottles, they call these four ounce bottles, but they're really more like six ounces if you went all the way to the top. And right below the curve is usually right around where the actual measurement is. So like on your essential oil bottles, your oil should be maybe right at the top of the label. That's really 10 mils. These bottles are really like 12 or 14 mil bottles if we had the oils all the way up to the top. So if you're wondering, how come my oil's only up to the top of the label? Because that's where 10 mils is. Just a little tip there. So what we're going to do is you can make this several different ways. We're going to start out with the basics and then we're going to add to it. So a basic one would just be what I just put in there and you put like five or six drops of your lavender millet. I'm going to take this funnel out because I don't want my oil sticking to the side of that. So I'm going to pour my oil in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to call that six, okay? Do not get all technical on me and say, I closed in on your video and I counted your drops and you put in seven. I don't care, okay? And neither should you. So that is your basic recipe. From there, you could just put your little straw in, shake it up and spray. Remember, 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 when you make Mr. Bottles, you must shake it every single time because your essential oils float on the top otherwise. And look at your little straw. It's way down here. And if you don't shake it before you spray, you just get water. And then at the very end, you go, whoa, I got all those oils. Say, okay, shake, spray, repeat. Shake, say, repeat. Everybody say that with me. Ready? Here we go. Shake, spray, repeat. Blah, blah, blah. Shake, spray, repeat. Say that 10 times without losing your tongue like I just did. Now, if you want to make it like spectacular sunburn spray, then you are going to add in two drops of your tea tree. Remember on your recipe it says optional. I know tea tree doesn't come in your kit this month, so don't have a coronary about it. But if you are lucky and you have some tea tree, hang it around your house, go ahead and add it. And then we are going to add in two drops of peppermint. No, one drop, one drop. Now, if you are using this on young little kiddos, I want you guys to use spearmint instead. One drop, see how tricky I am? But a little tiny bit rolled down the edge of my bottle, and you guys are probably always wondering, what do I do with that? I'm just wasting it. This is what Leanne does. She just rolls it along the side of her hand. And then she smells it. Oh, smells so good. And then maybe she'll rub it on the back of her neck or on her hands. And wherever. Smell it. And use it up. Put it in her hair. Don't waste your oils, okay? So then we're going to add one drop of rose geranium. These are just, you know, your tea tree. What does your tea tree do? Your tea tree 
helps fight any kind of infection because if you got a really bad sunburn, like you went crazy and you got blisters, those could get infected and that tea tree will stop the infection. Now, why is the peppermint and the spearmint in there? Because those are cooling oils. They help cool down the skin. And then your geranium is like your lavender. Those are just like skin healing oils. Your skin just goes, I love you for putting that on me. So just remember to use what you have and shake, spray, repeat, okay? Shake, spray, repeat. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to print off your Aromashare Club Flyer. It is in your team member resources under the product info, under essential oils. Get your essential oils books from the Steel Room and Passport to Aromatherapy. I know all of you Facebook us and email me and call Brenda and say we need more information. Well, this is a lot of information. Get those books, open them up, read them, and you will know tons about essential oils. We want you to have fun with your clubs. We want you to enjoy it. And you Heritage Maker gals, I keep telling you, I am offering a challenge. Make us some fun labels and post it on Facebook. I'm sure some of you can come up with some fabulous fun ideas. And don't forget, make all your products at your club meetings because you're probably going to forget to make them at home. You're going to have all the greatest of intentions of doing it, and you're never going to get around to it. So do it at your club meetings, and then you know you'll get her done. Thank you so much for coming, and we'll see you next time.